All right, so iChannel's made it here to the Friends for Life Charity Foundation event, and today we're in support of raising money and awareness for cystic fibrosis and cancer research, and I'm here with two doctors. Uh, if you could please introduce yourselves. My name's Liz Tallis. Okay. And Stevenson. Okay, amazing. So tell us a bit about uh, tonight's event and what brought you guys out here today. Well, we're two doctors that look after um, Eric and the Cystic Fibrosis Clinic, and we're here because we're CF physicians and researchers, and we're really excited to be able to come out and help for something that will raise money to help find a cure or control for CF. So tell me where the conversation starts when raising awareness uh, for raising monies as well, research for cystic fibrosis. Well, it's important to raise money for CF because all the funds that are raised for that go towards doing CF research and some fantastic discoveries have happened in Canada and in Toronto in particular. And those um, discoveries have allowed people with CF to live a longer, a much longer life. And the median survival now in Canada is 47 years of age, which is quite different than what it was in 1960 when um, children with CF didn't reach kindergarten. Why is it important? Tonight's event certainly steers uh, and caters to a younger demographic, 25 plus. Um, why is it important to raise awareness of people at a younger age? Well, this is a cystic fibrosis is a disease that hits people right from birth because it's genetic, and so that you know people in this audience will know people with CF whether they're aware of it or not in their day-to-day -day lives, and so increasing awareness in a young audience and they'll recognize that they're actually helping people who are their same age and there's that connection that comes from that. So we're talking about cystic fibrosis and how young uh, children can be diagnosed. Uh, what, so you, you mentioned 45 years of age was the average life expectancy? It's actually called the median survival which means that half of the individuals will live till over 47 and half will die before 47 years of age. But the majority of individuals are actually diagnosed as infants or young young children. Now, uh, so Eric is now in his mid-20s. What is something that he needs to uh, be cautious of on a day-to-day -day basis? Well, the big problem for people with CF is getting lung infections. And so it's a, a matter of doing one's treatments every day to stay healthy and obviously avoiding people who have colds or viruses in order that you don't get them and get sick. So again, we're at the Charity Foundation for the Friends for Life, and we're supporting some friends of ours, Eric Bauer and Steve Cameron. And uh, so we're just getting the night started. So for more events, iChannel.ca, check out our blog. Contact your local television provider to subscribe to iChannel.